Hi PostTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Lynn and my channel is The Lancashire Stitcher. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my channel is mainly about cross stitch, but I do include other crafts as and when I do them. Um, today is Saturday the 21st of November 2020. I am a day late filming. Um, I'll explain why later on. Um, but yeah, this is for student number six. I'm really surprised I'm actually here. It took me all my time to do first tube number one. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that I'm still doing this because I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, questions from my last video. Um, Stephen asked me, are there any retreats in the UK? Um, usually, yeah, there are. Um, there are I know there are mir Mirabilia re retreats around the country. Um, there are other retreats that are organised and usually you can find them on Facebook. So if you go on Facebook and search for UK retreats, then you should be able to find something. That's so I know there's been a few virtual ones this year um, with the COVID and everything. So yeah, you should be able to find something. Vivian asked me for my thoughts on stitching mirabilias on Ada. Um, I don't see a problem with stitching in mirabilias on Ada. I know a few people who actually do that. Um, there are some half cross stitches on mirrors, um, but you just need to pierce the, the block in the middle, that's all. Um, it should be easily done. Um, Karen asked me how I make my flat folds. Um, I've said before, I used to follow um Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorials um that's how I learned how to do them I'll put a link below to her um but I think I've made that many now I can just do it without using the tutorials um they, once you get the hang of it they're quite quick and easy to do um Deborah asked me do any of my children cross stitch uh, my son definitely doesn't never has done um, my daughter's my eldest daughter Rachel she used to cross stitch um, she stitched Angelica which I think is a lavender and lace chart and she also stitched um, Catch the Wind which is a lavender and lace chart um, I'll try and put pictures up, up on here um, she hasn't stitched for a while though um she's got two young children now so yeah she doesn't really stitch my youngest daughter sammy um she still stitches she stitched catch the wind too um and i know at the minute she's stitching uh um in in our house we do disney design that she got on uh, etsy um Beverly asked, where can I get gone fishing? This was the heritage silhouette chart that I showed last time. Um, it comes as a kit and I know it's available at Past Impressions in the UK. I'll put a link below. Um, yeah, it, it only comes as a kit, I think. Um, I know I bought the kit and I swapped out the fabric that came with it because it was an Ada fabric and I swapped it for an even weave. Um, Jennifer asks, do I stitch with a hoop or stand? I always stitch, no, I don't always stitch. I stitch with a hoop. Um, I also use Q-snaps sometimes, depending on the design. Um, if I'm gonna be putting um, the stitches over the edge of the hoop, then I'll use Q-snaps because the hoop just squashes them. Um, where the Q-snaps, you can protect the stitches with the, the Q-snaps. Um, I also stitch in hand sometimes. Um, I don't use a stand. Um, I always hold it in my hand. Um, I've tried using stands in the past, but um, it didn't. I couldn't get used to it. I couldn't get the hang of it. It didn't feel comfortable. So yeah, I've not never bothered with a stand since then. Um, Renata asked. Where can I buy the owl design? This was the Winter Snow Owl that I showed last time um, by Blackberry Lane Designs and it's available from 123 Stitch. I'll put a link below. It's a chart, that one. And Jane asked me what material I'm using for Alice by RTM. Um, I'm using Pearl, which is a shade from Paul Stitch's fabric. Pardon me. Um, right, fully finishes. I've got one fully finish and I'm so happy with this fully finish. Took me a while to do it to get it done and it is mermaids of the deep blue by mirabilia i'm getting a lot of reflection today there we go that's better 
Um, this was stitched on a piece of Cold Stitches fabric. Um, what, oh, what, quite a while ago. I've done a purple conversion that I found on the internet. And then I've laced and framed it myself. Just the frame from the range. I got this frame from the range. So, yeah, quite very happy with that. I just need to find somewhere to hang her now. Finishes. I've got one finish that isn't cross stitch, and I'll have to put a picture up here. Um, or up here. Um, it's a picture. It's a, a jumper that I knit for my grandson Noah. Um, a cable jumper. Um, I, I, I finished it quite a while ago, and I just needed to stitch it up. And I hate that bit. I hate the making up bit because it never goes right. I always end up having to undo it and redo it again. Um, so yeah, it took a while for me to actually stitch up the pieces into one jumper. Anyway, so he's, he's, as, you, as you can see from the picture, he's already been wearing it. So yeah, quite happy with that. The other finish I've got, it was a quick start and finish. And it's my first Christmas um, for my granddaughter Beatrix B, who was born this year. Um, my daughter's seen this as it is now, so I'm showing it to you. Um, I'm not going to show the ornament when it's made up until she's actually got it. So, yeah, that was a very quick stitch. I managed to do that in a day. Uh, right, stitching wise. Um, first one is PlayStation Controller by The Needle and Floss. Stitching this from my, for my husband's Christmas present. It's a pattern from Etsy that I'll link below. And I'm very happy with my progress on this. As you can see, I've almost finished it. I just have the flower that goes here to do, and then it's completely finished, and I'll be able to frame it ready for Christmas. So, really happy with that. The next one is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. This is being stitched as part of the One Nation of Sal hashtag. I'm doing one state, one star a week. This past two weeks, I've done Missouri and Arkansas. So this is being stitched on a piece of 32 count Belfast linen using all the Carl Far colours. So really happy with how that's coming on. And then the rest, the rest of these are from my November Cross Stitch Challenge as part of the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. So the first one is Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. This is being stitched on a piece of 32 count cotton clothes by Crafty Kitten. And I finished this side of it using all the cold far colours. Some people have asked me on Facebook and Instagram about what, what threads are used on this. And it's it's just DMC. You just use different shades of DMC to give the different colours in each letter. So it comes out really nice. Um, I'm going to be stitching on this next month too. So I'll talk about that later. The next one, Slater's Stocking by Shepherd's Bush. Really love stitching this. I think because you're using pearl cotton, it stitches up quicker. Okay, and that's how much I've got done this time. I've done the presents on the sledge, and then I've done this top banding bit at the top. So yeah, all I need to do now is go down to the bottom and do some the little bits of things that are at the bottom underneath the zigzag. So again, really happy with that. The next one, Fern by Nora Corbett. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count, no, 28 count Buttercup Joy by Sparkles. And that's how much I've got done. I've done a hair this time and I've started on the wings. So I'm really happy with that. I loved it on this fabric too. I saw I put I chose this fabric after I saw um sparklers at Harrogate at the knitting and stitching show last year and 
they had it stitched on this and I just thought it's, it pops, the colours pop on it. So yeah, I, I bought the fabric. The next one is the Drone Thread Random Thoughts. I am loving how this is stitching. Really liking this. This is being stitched using the Carl Far Needle Point Silks. And that is what I've got done so far. So you've got some over one. So there's a verse here. And this little heart here is all over one. The, this is the start of the verse, obviously. Um, what is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stir, is what it says. And I just love how that is stitching up. Sorry for the creases. I'm going to stitch on that next month too. The next one is Up on the Rooftop by Glendon Place. And this is what I've got done so far. I've got the Santa in the middle, loving the little Santa. So yeah, managed to do that Santa this time. And this fabric came with the the part kit that I got from Nimble Thimble, the sparkly fabric. The next one is Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. I love this design. It's going to take a while to do it, but I love it. This is being stitched on a piece of 28 count doubloon by Picture This Plus using the Colfall Valdani threads. And that's what I've got done. So basically this time I stitched, sorry, this design here and then this leaf up here. So yeah, I'm loving how that's coming out. The colours really pop so yeah love, love the Valdani colours just they, they're not very easily the next one is El Scarney by Barbarana Designs so this one I'm not just doing four hours I'm just stitching a quarter of it so I now have two hours I'm loving the colours on this. Um, it uses some colour variations by DMC um, and other DMC colours. So yeah, I'm loving this. I've actually had to put a little T at the top because I started stitching it the wrong way. So all my stitches on this owl were the wrong way. <laughs> so I had to unstitch what I'd stitched and do it again. And my husband said, what, what does it matter? I, I can tell. I can see that the stitch is the wrong way. So, yes, it matters. So, yeah, there we go. That's another one I'm stitching on next month too. The next one is Old Glory Angel by La Di Da. And I'm stitching this on a piece of Belfast linen. And that's what I've got done so far. So this time, last time I'd finished the, the flowers. So this time I've done from there up and then I did a string of the border. So yeah, so loving that one. I really like that. I saw it made up at Nimble Thimble one, one time. So, and it was on, it was on a white fabric, but it, re it looked really nice. So yeah, I bought the chart. Okay, so we're in November. The next time I film a video, it will be December again. This year feels like it's lasted forever, but then it's also flying very quickly. So you can't get your head around it sometimes. It's just, it's weird. It just really feels really weird this year. So December acrostic challenge. Again, I'm using the 20 hours of cross stitch, um, December acrostic. Um, I buy this um, from Etsy, I'll put a link below, um, I get the whole year um, in, up, up front so I can plan well in advance of, of the time. Um, I know she's hoping to get the 2021 set up by Thanksgiving which is next week. So yeah, so December is TikTok time, so I've done my little list. 
Um, how I do this, I, I have all my charts on a database on my computer um, using Microsoft Access. Um, so then I just put them in, in alphabetical order by designer first and then see if there's any that I like. I look for, for mainly for whips first. Um, so I look for designers with that letter and then if if um, I'm, I'm not finding anything that I'm keen on for doing that month, I go alphabetically by um, charts, the name of the chart. Um, and then there's other ones like for this one, I've got Christmas. Um, I picked a Christmas design for C. Um, so you can you can link the charts in any way you like. It could be something on the chart. It could be the theme. Um, but yeah, I, I usually just use my my database to pick them. Um, I'll put a I'll try and put a picture up of uh, what my d d database looks like so you can see um, how I do it. So TikTok chime is December's. So the first one T the drawn thread random thoughts which I showed you before, um, and then I is going to be a new start and it's this one which is Let There Be Peace by Imaginating. Um, I've had this chart for quite some time uh, and I'm actually going to stitch it. I've already got the fabric. It's some sparkly 14 count Ada, which has been in my stash for a very long time. I don't usually stitch an Ada anymore, but I just thought this design would be nice on, on that. So yeah, I'm going to stitch it on Ada for a change. I think it will probably stitch quicker because I'm stitching on Ada rather than on linen. So we'll see how that goes. Um, see, right, okay. I've got a chatelaine. <laughs> um, I've not got my picture with it. Um, it was I got it as a um PDF, so it's on my iPad. I'll put a picture up here of what it is. It's Egypt Garden by Chatelaine, and I've only had a very little start on it. As you can see, that's it. That's in the middle. And I've started some of the bits around the edge. I've got all the threads for it, but I know I've not got the beads. And I've heard something about, um, is it Schwarkowski? Um, the, um, the people who do the crystals, they're, they're stopping doing them. So I'm going to have to try and get them soon. But yeah, I'm hoping to get four hours done on that. This is just um, 32 count even weave. And then, K is Kingdom Seaside, Sing Seaside Kingdom by Lavender and Lace. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count Kynance fabric by Sparklies. And that's how much I've got done so far. I'm hoping I can get the little girl done next time. So yeah, it'd be nice to work on that again. Um, T is the drum thread stars started this a while ago bought it as a kit from nimble thimble and that's what i've got done so far i've got a nice big crease down the middle because it's been folded up in the packet there we go so yeah i'm hoping to do a bit more on that this time And then O is going to be O Scarnu by Barbara and the Designs that I showed you earlier on. C is going to be Crafty Cat by Ma Margaret Sherry. And this was in a booklet that came with, um, was it Cross Stitcher? Yeah, Cross Stitcher magazine um, a few years ago. So I used to love Margaret Sherry designs. Um, so yeah, this is Crafty Cat. And that's what I've got done so far. As you can see, I've got a nice square of Ada. It looks like 16 count Ada. Um, obviously started this a while ago. So yeah, I'm going to stitch on that. Um, K is going to be a new start. And it's going to be the Knitter Sampler by October House Fibre Arts. I'm just in the process of getting the threads for this. 
So, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to do that. It should be a nice quick stitch, that one, too. So, we'll see how much I get done. Um, C is Christmas, as in Song of Christmas. There's my chart saying Song of Christmas. I don't have the picture. It's disappeared a long time ago. Um, oops. And that's what I've got done so far on that one. This I started stitching this when my children were young. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it came to a stop. So I'll be happy to get a bit more done on this one. And then H is... Erwin Christmas Sampler by Victoria Sampler. I'm stitching this long version of it. This has been in my box for a while. I'm going to get my board for this one. And so, there you go. I've got down to the... But yeah. I'd run out. And for some reason, I'd run out of the cotton that use for these bits so I've, I ordered some more and it came a while ago um, so now I can carry on with this so yeah and um, the uh, pulled thread bits I'm not really liking that and there's a really big one at the bottom that I'm not looking forward to where you actually have to cut threads in the middle of stitches so we'll see how we go on with that And then I is I am a stitcher by Cherry Wood Design Studio. I'm doing the other colour version than this. There's two versions, there's a light and a dark. So I'm doing the um, lighter one, I think. And that's what I've got done so far. This is being stitched on a piece of 28 count Brittany Lugana in Morning Mist by Pole stitches. And then M is my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. We've seen this before. I really like stitching on this. It's not going to get finished this Christmas, but you never know for next year. I can't remember what fabric it is that I'm stitching this on. I'll put it down below if I can remember, if I can find out. So Sorry about all the creases today. Oh right, so yeah, that's that one. And then E for TikTok Chime is going to be Enchanted Alphabet that I showed you earlier on. So that's my December acrostic. Right, so purchases. I do have a couple of purchases. The first one is New York Dreamers Springtime. I've, I like these. These are on my wish list on uh, 123 Stitch and I had to order something from 123 Stitch the other week for an exchange that I'm doing for Christmas and I thought well I'm not just going to get one little chart so I might as well get something off my wish list so I picked this one. So that's that one. And then I ordered this Christmas sample too from Peakside Needleworks. Um, I bought this because I already have Christmas sample one, but I don't like the colours it uses for the the, the um, words on this. They don't they, they look a bit washed out, and I thought those are much better colours. So I bought this so I can pick the colours to do this one. So yeah, we shall see how that goes, and then. I am so happy I've got this. This has been, I've been waiting for this for three months and it's my Paul Stitches fabric in silver lining that I have bought to do, let me find it, let me find it, World Peace Angel by Lavender and Lace. So I will be making a start on this during this month or next month. I've, I've been waiting for this for so long. Um, so yeah. I'm going to have that fabric to start that at last. Right, um, I'm going to show you some of my, well, I'm going to show you all of my Lavender and Lace charts. Um, 
But before that, I wanted to ask you, what are your unicorn charts? I mentioned unicorn charts last time when I said about uh, Santa's Magic by Mirabilia. Um, unicorn charts are charts that you want, that you feel like you need, um, but you can't get hold of anymore because they're out of print. And when you go on eBay, they're selling for ridiculous prices, if you can get them. Um, I have two still. Uh, I think they're both Mirabilia's. The first one is Lady of the Flag. Yes, it's the US flag again, but I do really like that design. And the other one is a dragonfly design that Mirabilia did. And I can't find it anywhere now. So, yeah, so those are my two unicorn charts. So, yeah, what are yours? What do you have? What charts are you, do you wish you had that you can't get anymore? Okay, so... As requested in a previous video, I'm showing some of my charts. So last time I showed you my Mirabilia's, this time I'm going to show you my Lavender and Lace and Butternut Road. So I've basically took the pictures out of the charts so you're not getting the glow, but apart from the couple that are still sealed up, that I've not opened yet. Okay, so um, the first one is Firefly Fairies. This one I started last month. I've not stitched on it this time because I've been doing Christmas presents and exchange pieces. So I've not had much chance to stitch on other things. The next one is Catch the Wind. This is the one that both of my daughters have stitched. So I've now got it. So hopefully I'll get around to stitching it at some point. The next one is Angel of the Morning. I do like this. Um, it's a bit of over one on the face, so yeah, really nice design. And the next one is the Quilt Maker. I bought this years and years and years ago, um, hoping to stitch it and just never got around to starting it. The next one is the Tea Garden. I do like these flowers. Again, I hope to get around to stitching it at some point. And the next one is the wedding. Bought this, intending to make it for somebody's wedding. Just never have done. It's massive. <laughs> the next one is Guardian Angel. Um, I was going to stitch this, but then I got this one. So I, and I like that one better, so I stitched that one. That was in, in the arms of an angel. That's another lavender on lace. Then I've got Celtic Art. No. Yeah, Celtic Artem. Again, I do like these ladies. Um, I can't find the picture to this one. This is Celtic Christmas. And then I've got Celtic Spring. And Celtic Summer. I also have Winter Rose and my World Peace Angel that I showed you earlier. This is actually quite big when it's stitched up. Um, I also have Sweet Dreams which is in my whip box. Uh, I think that's it then. Yeah I don't have any more of, that, of those so yeah. They're my lavender lace. So next time, uh, I think I might show my drawn thread charts. So, yeah. So, life update. Um, yeah, uh, last time I said I was working in schools, one school on Monday, one school Tuesday to Thursday. Um, the Monday one is, is still going on. The Tuesday to Thursday one didn't work out. Um, the nature of supply is that I can say that I don't want to work in a school anymore and also the school can say that they don't want me there anymore so yeah so that's the the it's the thing with supply it's just you take as it comes if you don't like it you can say don't take don't, don't send me there again um but i have had some work in other schools since then um this week i've not been so good um i've had a, a a really bad ankle i've hardly been able to walk on it. it today's not too but it's feeling like it's actually getting better today um 
but I've had other problems and I'm actually going to get tested for diabetes. Um, going to have a blood test for diabetes, so I'll see how that comes out. Um, type 2, obviously. So, yeah, um, we're still in lockdown until the 2nd of December. Um, so, yeah, can't really do anything other than shop go to the shop to do weekly shopping um so yeah it's been quiet a couple of weeks so on that note i will say happy stitching have a lovely two weeks um please subscribe like leave a comment ask a question um i do answer questions in in the comments but i also read out most of them when I do my video um but yeah um, it's been lovely to read all those comments I know I've had at least an e one email which I really need to reply to I've not had a chance to do that yet so yeah um I will reply um so yeah thank you and I'll see you in two weeks bye for now